Hi there, welcome to this week's video. As I promised last week, there's going to be lots of sparks and flip well, one, actually no flames, <laughs> thank goodness, but lots of sparks, lots of welding where we make sure those holes in the bottom of the hull are fixed and cut inspection hatches in the, over the fuel tank, um, do a bit of welding on binnacles and things still no painting it's been a few weeks now two or three weeks um i'm really really close to actually getting enough work done on the boat to be able to comfortably paint and just do the odd job here and there while we're waiting to go back in but it's all good it's all good i am going to be working on this one this week i'm back at home for a few days so i'm going to be working on the whitby painting and i will have the whitby painting finished before we leave whitby that is a promise uh so here's a little bit about how we fixed the holes the process of actually how you take a piece of steel and fit it into the holes in your boat see you in a bit Here's the process for getting a new piece of steel in the hull. Lots of measurements are taken inside and outside of the boat to cut in line with struts and wells so that they don't make any mistakes. Circular holes are cut in the corners of the plates for stronger welds. A circular corner is stronger than a right angle corner. The hole is cut out with an angle grinder. They work on both sides of the boat to save time. It's like a little volcano erupting in the bow of the boat. I think the cutting, the grinding and the cleaning up is the longest job. Breakthrough. <laughs> now we've got a hole in the boat. They then use thin hardboard to draw templates of the holes to transfer to the steel. The holes are prepared for welding. The steel pieces are cut as accurately as possible. Well, it's definitely a grinding day at the yard today. Pieces are tacked into place with small bits of welding. Then the join is carefully welded from the outside and the inside. Then the grinding continued in the cockpit of the boat. Some of the more observant of you will notice that the engine disappears. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. That was done in last week's video. We took the engine out. Uh, but what we needed to do is also take the fuel tank out. Uh, and so we cut the inspection hatches over the fuel tank. 
then the fuel tank was carried out then we uh, at the workshop the guys put an inspection hatch in top of the uh, fuel tank then the fuel tank was installed back in and then the inspection hatch was fitted on top of there so from now on we can get into the fuel tank without actually having to take the engine and the fuel tank out brilliant idea the other things we had done were uh, the gutters which you can see here they're painted red at the moment but they'll all be painted white uh, that was just to stop any corrosion as soon as it had been put in and also the binnacle arch we're really really pleased with this as soon as it was put put in we started using it as a handhold to get from the side into the middle it's in exactly the right place to move around that cockpit safely it's also a brilliant place for putting any of our navigation um, systems so that we can see where we're going whilst we're steering it's brilliant so we're really pleased with the way things are going i'm just going to be concentrating on this i've got some electrics to do i've got some paint i've got some painting to do and we'll show that in the next week's video i'm starting to think about the next painting now as well so i can tell my brain is switching from oh we need to do this on the boat we need to do this on the boat to i've got some painting that i want to do which is really good it's 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 all a positive step so thank you again so much for watching if you have got to this point then i send out all my love to you because you are watching the whole video and if everyone watched the whole video oh that'd be fantastic because time people watch it anyone who likes it anyone who subscribes to the channel uh, the amount of time that is viewed for all helps because my dream is to be able to take this journey and take it as far as it can go and paint my way around. We, we, we've got big plans for what we want to do with Freya and it's all going to start with being able to be, be able to support it. So keep on watching uh, and if you do see anything you like as far as the paintings go, they're available on my website. Unfortunately, Humpty Dumpty's got sold now. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put them up on the website as they're finished. So, thank you very much. And I'll see you next week. Bye.